future of Africa depends upon its ability to unshackle the potential of half of its population. African countries cannot succeed if they continue treating women in a marginalized way. Under customary law in so many countries, the status of women in society is equal to that of a minor. I hope that 10 years from now, when I see you, that I will not only see that you have advanced, but that you have brought about change. We recognize the individual role that we all can play in shaping the world to be a better place. And our intention is to prepare these young women to lead in that better place. ...of what they were doing, that they started... I mean, who knows how many people are living in the country, right? Yes. All to also register for voting and buy a Simmons is the best place in nurturing women for leadership. So I have great expectations of those of you here today. Culture and tradition in Africa have been things that have continually held women back. How do we get out of that system? How do we begin to have our voices heard? We are not going to sit down quietly and take that. That is why we have you. The bedrock of any nation lies in the faces of those I see today. Do not let your future gains be discounted. We are going back and we believe that Simon has begun it. They've begun it with us. As the saying goes, beginning something is like you've done it halfway. Where you sit is where you stand. Thanks. You know, she's doing the right job. Laws creates leaders, and rainbows only follow storms. These young guys come from the same place. A new nation like ours, I'm from South Sudan. What, what is the approach because we have? And leave those who are competent. When you succeed as a leader, your most important obligation is to mentor and help the women coming after you. I'm from Mozambique. One of the young women this morning said, we need to be the change that we want to see. And that is true. Mahatma Gandhi said it a long time ago, we must be the change we want to see in the world. What an honor to be here with you today and watch with pride as you join 
with other powerful sisters to change the and world. And what are we going to do? We are going to be from the highest to the group in our country. Thank you. We now feel prepared to be the change we want to see in the face of leadership. Always remembering where we came from to guide where we're going. You train us. We'll go back home and begin the battle of leadership. It's not gonna be easy, but with the training we got here at Simmons, we're going to make it through. Tonight, we all have tears in our eyes. I believe it's not, they're not tears of sadness, but tears of joy that Ethan and Devon of us will be going back home happy.